everyone. It's Wednesday evening, time for another Facebook Live. Um, this week I've been sharing the snow front stamp set with you. It's really a nice one. If you liked waterfront, you'll love this. Um, easy to make scenes. We made um, a card in card class, which I think I've already shared on Facebook a couple of weeks ago, and everybody was a little concerned about being able to make it, and their cards all turned out beautiful. So it's an easy, easy set to use. Um, but tonight we're going to make more of a wintry scene. And I don't know if you'll be able to see any of the sparkle or not, but I'm using shimmery white. So anytime you're working with water, you want to use either watercolor paper or shimmery white paper and it really adds a lot of extra shine to this. So let's get started. So I've got a piece of shimmery white and I have a block. Um, with the newer stamp pads, it's not always as easy to squeeze them and get ink in the lid. Um, so I've started doing this instead. And it actually keeps your lid cleaner too. So I'm just gonna take just a block and I'm just gonna ink it up in my stamp pad. So now I have all this ink on here. I'm gonna take my aqua painter. I'm gonna put a little bit of water on here. Not too much to start out with because I'm gonna start at the top. And then you just start brushing it on. And I love, this is Night of Navy. I don't think I told you that. This is Night of Navy that I'm using. And I love how it has like, when you do it this way, you see some variation in the color. Some that looks more blue, some that looks more purple. I'm trying to hold on to it while I do this. And then you can go back if you want it a little bit darker. Go back in, put some more on there. All right, and when you have it like you want, let me put just a little bit more at the top. Then I'm gonna add some more water to this just to make it more diluted because for the bottom, I don't want it to be that dark. I want it to be much lighter. I'm trying to hold on to this while I'm doing it. It's challenging. And this is where you can really see some of that variation. See, it looks more purple there. All right, so now I just have a lighter um, portion at the bottom. Now, to clean off your aqua painter, this is all you do. Just rub it on a paper towel or something until it's clean, and that's good. You can use it another time. And this, all you have to do is clean it off. There you go. Now, this is wet, so we can't stamp on it right now, so I would let it dry, or I would use my heat tool um, if I was in a hurry and wanted to dry it faster. But because I knew we would have this, I did another one beforehand. And you'll notice it curls up a little bit and you can um, put it under something or when you glue it down, it'll go um, flat. Hey, buddy, welcome. All right, let me close this up before I make a mess. All right, buddy, I just did um, use my aqua painter to paint my Night of Navy on this one. But since it's wet, we're going to use the one I made earlier that's dry. All right. So I'm using the snow front stamp set. And I'm going to do my mountains first at the top. Let me move this up so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm doing them in memento because I wanted them to show up on this darker blue. And I'm going to put a... I'll scratch paper underneath because I may go off a little bit and I don't want to mess up my background here. All right. So let's put some mountain in, mountains in here. And I kind of went once and then again just to give those ones that are lighter, they look like they're kind of in the background a little bit. And some more right there. 
So now I have some pretty mountains in my scene. And then the rest of this I did with the basic gray. So I'm going to start with my cabin, which is right over here. So I'm going to start with my cabin. I'm going to put him, oh, about there. Okay. Then let's make a little trail or road or whatever you want to call it. Going down from him. And this is fun because it's just, um, it's just two colors. It's the memento and the basic gray. Oh, we need our... Where is our, oh, I forgot to get the pond out. Let me get the pond out. Because we need a pond before we decide where we're going to put all of our trees. I think I might have stamped him off once first, just so he wasn't too dark. And we'll put him down here. There we go. And we need our little deer. They're by the pond. Can I get them down? Getting ready to take a drink, maybe. All right, now we're just ready to uh, make add some trees. So there are three different sizes, and it'll be hard to see, I imagine, on camera, but there's a bigger tree, a medium tree, and a little tree. There is also a whole hill with trees, but I didn't want to use that on this one. Um, so I just used these trees. There's also a really big one, but I didn't use him either. So now I'm just going to make a little forest. <clears throat> so we'll put one big one over here. And then on the others, I just kind of put one big one, maybe another one. And maybe some medium ones. Medium one on the other side of the cabin. Maybe one more medium one here. And then we'll fill in with some little ones. And I don't know that I put another one, but we could. We could put another little one there. And that's it. That's all that you have to do. Oh, and before I put that away, I did, I didn't show you this, but on the inside, hey, Lenita, I did put a little snowman. So let's get, let's get our little road, because he had to stand on something. He couldn't just stand on thin air. So I've got, this is just a piece of Whisper White. So I'm going to take my little road. And just kind of put it down here on my inside. So this card you could use. Um, here's my snowman. For anything wintry, it's not necessarily. Oh, no, I got here. I made a mess of that. So all you have to do is turn it over. And hopefully I won't get it on my, on there again. Oh, I've gotten out of the frame a little bit, haven't I? There we go. And our snowman just going to sit right there. Now we can put our ink away. All right, now we're ready to put this all together. Get that out of the way. So I have just a piece of, um, <laughs> I know, isn't he cute, Lenita? He's a really cute snowman. Um, a piece of basic black. So this was three and three quarter by five. So this is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So it's gonna have just a little border all the way around, but I liked how it just kind of offset the, and I'm going to be generous with my adhesive since this, since we use water on this, it curls it up a little bit. So I wanna be sure, come on, that I have adhesive all the way around it. 
All right, we'll put this on our black. So it's gonna have just a little edge. Let's see if I can do this straight. Oops, nope. It's hard to do straight when you're not standing right over it. That's not bad. And then we'll just take this and put it on our, whoops, on our basic gray. And so it is a piece that is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I like, I've been doing this lately, I like this thin border and then a little bit thicker border around it. All right, now we're ready to put our snowman on. And you could add, if you wanted to add a sentiment um, on the outside, you certainly could. You could stamp something in memento here, or you could just add a little piece of white um, that you stamped a sentiment on, or even the, the basic gray. Um, you could do all sorts of different things, but I think this is a beautiful winter card. You could use it for a birthday. Um, it could be used for lots of different occasions. So there's the one I had earlier, and there's the one we made tonight. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, and be sure and share if, you've, if you if um, you get this set and make something with it. I'd love to see what you create with it, too. All right, we will see you next week. Thanks for joining me. Bye.